What is up guys, it's Josh here, and today I'm bringing you an episode of Minecraft, your viewing pleasure, and I'm going to be bringing you episode 1 of Wake SMP, and this is a survival server, um, vanilla, uh, inspired a lot by Minecraft, uh, no mods, no hacks, no nothing, and, uh, you can see here, if you didn't see the server tour already, but I have made some, uh, storage here because I am desperate for storage. I have a lot of this stuff just laying around and then these are all full. Um, this one's full. So yeah, and it's really a pain to walk back to, back and uh, forth from my snow globe. So yeah, um, let me just show you the snow globe. If you didn't see the server tour, um, there's going to be a link on the screen that you can check that out. But there's a snow globe. Um, so it's really a pain to have to walk back and forth from there to, uh, have to get items. Um, and excuse me if I sound a little stuffy. I'm a little bit under the weather. But I have not decided what we're going to do for this episode. Um, one thing I do need to do, though, is enchant a new shovel. So let's head on over to the end, and we will do that. Alright, guys, so as we're heading over to the end... Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about this server. Um, like I said, it's um, pure vanilla and whatnot, but I'm starting the series late, later on in our development of this uh, server, and it's more of like a free-for-all where we all do our own thing. We're not really working on any big builds together. Um, however, we do help each other out. For instance, uh, Liam on the server, Doctor Who 97 is his IGN. Uh, is the one who made this entire Enderman farm, uh, but we supplied him with all our slime balls that we had, um, and there's currently, I believe, six layers, and it's working pretty well, um, uh, but we do want to up the spawn rates still, um, but yeah, we all kind of help each other out, just mainly with items, and uh, we all have our own builds. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to enchant a shovel because you can see here, uh, mine's almost dead and it's not that great. Fortune 2 is okay. Um, of course, shovels only require one diamond, so uh, I might as well just make one right now. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cheap and I used to use axes until I realized that um, when you use an axe, uh, it takes three diamonds, and when you use a shovel, it takes one. And when you have efficiency on your shovel, uh, it takes a lot less long. Uh, let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, when you have efficiency on your shovel, uh, it, it takes about the same to chop down trees as it does with um, uh, an axe. So obviously wasting three diamonds on an axe is not worth it. Uh, but let me get back to you when I'm level 30 and we'll see what enchantment we get. Alright guys, let's enchant this shovel. Un I'm hoping for unbreaking 3 efficiency 4. Nice, great shovel. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one up. Um, and I will start using this one. Let me throw these ender pearls away. And uh, we will decide what we're going to do in this episode. Alright guys, so uh, I've decided that today we're going to make a cow farm because uh, I need some item frames for these. I think I'm going to put item frames here and here to show what's in these chests. Uh, they are double chests, I just uh, tucked them behind here a little bit. So we're going to make a cow farm, especially because these do not go very far. So, um, let me, uh, uh, let me clear out the area that I want to make the cow farm, which is right here, and I will get back to you. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put stairs along the outside like this, and then I'm going to have, uh, grass here. Let me get out my grass blocks, and, um, I think I'm going to put pumpkins with uh, glowstone under them, or maybe oak leaves with glowstone under them. We'll see how each looks. Uh, to create some light so uh, monsters don't spawn, and so uh, it looks better. And let's just put a 
they're kind of close but whatever uh, so we're just gonna try this stuff out on a quadrant to see what we like um, I've dug out a 16 by 16 area this being I believe 8 by 8 right here so uh, let's see how this looks I'm gonna put some more uh, grass down here so it grows a little faster uh, you know what it's probably not bright enough to grow okay uh, grass needs a block light of uh, I think eight or higher I'm not really sure to grow uh, but for lighting um, let's see I could put one I could put him in the corners but I kind of want him in the middle so this is gonna be the very center and let's just see how much light that gives off. Uh, I gotta get my uh, pumpkins real quick, my jack-o'-lanterns. And uh, I have set up a whole storage system of how I'm gonna organize my chests. I just put some stuff in there for now because we're almost done with the storage system. So yeah, um, and I don't have any any uh, glowy pumpkins, so. Let's make some of those. Where's my coal? Flint. That looks like coal. Uh, coal. That should do it. Um, I need to make some of this oak wood into planks. And, okay. And let's make those into jack-o'-lanterns. Alright, perfect. Um... So I think I'm going to use jack-o'-lanterns in this build just because I want to give it uh, kind of a grassy outdoor feel, a little bit like what I did with this, uh, using wood and uh, not lamps but glowstone because it looks a little more organic. And um, I did choose to build in a snow biome because uh, I, I do prefer the look of grass and leaves in a jungle biome but it's it's really a pain to build in those i don't have any more torches all right that's okay um it's really a pain to build in those so uh i i chose uh this biome just because i i like the unique grass color um and the leaf color like that so that's i kind of like the look of the pumpkin underneath but this grass is it's spread one there or there I'm not sure which uh, it's not growing very fast let's check out the light oh there it grew let's check out the light levels uh, with no torches around here um, am I picking up these torches no no I'm not um, and that should do it uh, this is gonna be block light 11 12 uh, seven right here but mobs can't spawn on series so that's actually gonna be good for each quadrant uh, we'll just need one unless we think it looks better with more um, I think we might want a little more light here so uh, this is uh, it doesn't have a center block it has a center four blocks like this obviously because it's 16 by 16 it does look a little dark um, well, we'll go with that, and it's not too hard to adjust the lights back if we don't like it. So let's just light this up so the grass can grow. And, oh, that might be a problem also if it's not bright enough for the grass to grow. Um, well, you know, let's just do this for all four quadrants. Uh, I'm going to put some, some stairs in this grass down, and I will get back to you when that's done. Okay, so I made this, and I think I like the pattern of these. I'm not too excited about it, but uh, they'll do for now. I might change it later. Um, I, this is actually 14 by 14 in the middle here, and the whole thing is 16 by 16. Uh, I just measured it again. So uh, this is not 16 by 16, the grass part. But I, I do like the grass, and I'm going to stick with that. And for the walls, actually, uh, I've just started digging them. Um, uh, I think I'm going to do uh, kind of like an outside mural kind of thing where I put in some, like, some grass and I will bone meal uh, the dirt. And you can see I'm kind of terraforming 
these one-dimensional mountains right now. Uh, yeah, I think that'll look good. And I don't really want these to be symmetrical, so we'll go like that. And that. And this is a bug I've actually found with 1.4.4. These little jumping, dancing blocks. So, yeah. Part A. Uh, but that has happened, and I believe it's due to stairs. Because the only times it's happened to me really is when I have stairs. And that is not... That's... Yep. And we'll make another mountain right about here. So, um, just a topic of discussion while we're building a little bit. Um, I have been playing a lot of Black Ops, and I've quite enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of you may not be Call of Duty fans. Uh, it's, it's getting pretty ri ridiculous. I believe this is the ninth Call of Duty. So, can I get this somehow? Can I? I liked it better when it was dancing. But anyway, uh, it's about the ninth Call of Duty, so, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty long line of uh, games there and really um, I think it, it's it's not really getting any better in my opinion um, Black Ops 2 is uh, the multiplayer is really fun but uh, it, it does remind me a lot of Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer and um, uh, as well as uh, Black Ops uh, 1 multiplayer uh, they're just not adding a lot of things into the multiplayer uh, however, one thing they are giving a lot of consideration to is the zombies, and I love zombies. I'll probably be posting some zombies uh, on my channel soon uh, for you guys to enjoy for your viewing pleasure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's the multiplayer. It didn't really wow me. Um, and there were a lot of things I was disappointed in, like there's no sleight of hand, uh, quick draw was a great perk that they got rid of, uh, just some some little things like that. But it is a lot of fun, uh, I'm having some fun with it. And one thing that I did notice as well is we were all making our clan tags um, the same because we were playing a multi-team multi uh, something, I don't remember what it's called, multi-team game mode where we're all... Uh, on the same team, uh, me and two of my friends, and we play in the multiplayer um, against like two or three other teams, and we tried putting in Wake as our clan tag, and it said it was explicit, capital W-A-K-E, it would not let us do it because of uh, like vulgar language or something, I don't know, um, so if you guys want to try it out, it's it's a little strange how that happened. But anyway, I'm just going to keep terraforming these mountains a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, maybe wrap that around. And yeah, uh, I'm not going to do these walls quite yet because I want to see how it looks when I have it bone mealed up and whatnot. Uh, let's make this go up like that. Is that going to look good? Let me move that. Um, so yeah, I think I have... No. Let me go get some more grass blocks and some bone meal. Or does bone meal make it into a grass block? Does it make it grow grass on it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see if we have any bones in these chests. I think I might have already used them all. Uh, yes, okay, perfect. And we don't need all this cobble. I already have about a double chest. Well, I do have a double chest. Uh, plus a lot in these chests of cobblestone and maybe even more just lying around so uh, I'd just throw it out when I when I don't have inventory space uh, some people uh, who are OCD uh, think it's annoying to waste it and whatnot but uh, I have so much it doesn't really bother me so this is not even gonna grow does it need sunlight uh, please don't tell me it needs sunlight. I don't think it does. I've seen underground structures like this. Maybe it does need grass blocks. So let me go get some grass blocks. And I will get back to you guys. Okay, so uh, I decided to make this a little more uh, interesting. Add some trees here, uh, of course. And also, you can only bone meal on the grass that is grown already. So while I'm waiting for that, I think I'm going to make... 
a few more trees here. I've added a little 3D-ness to them instead of having the just the simple one-dimensional background back here. So I'm going to put a birch wood as well, a birch wood tree. And that will go, let's say, here. i got to dig out some of this still. Um, so uh, let me... I think I'm also going to dig out one higher too so this isn't crammed on top there. It's got some space. And then also for the background of this, uh, I, do, I mean, I obviously don't want it to be just dirt and stone. I might do blue wool. Of course, that would involve me making a wool farm as well. So I may leave it uh, unattended. Uh, and just bring the cows in and get this thing up and running so that uh, it's up and running and we can make our item frames and finish this project as well. Um, but yeah, let me just make this tree here. I really like the, lo the look of birch wood. Uh, if you can't tell by this over here, just a quick walk away. Uh, Ender pearl. Alright. Yeah, uh, I really like it as an accent. I think it looks nice under here as well. Uh, in here, I put it. But yeah, I think it looks good as an accent. And let's harvest these. I, I'm going to make this automatic. Uh, in fact, there are, I believe, uh, maybe I took them out, but there's sticky pistons that are ready and wired under the melon farm, or half of it at least. Um, but unfortunately, redstone... Uh, on this server is a bit buggy and there's just not a lot of RAM on it since we are hosting from uh, a website that is um, like we pay for. It's not hosted for many of our computers so they try to put in the minimal amount of RAM for six people and that does not work uh, for redstone very well. So yeah, so redstone is not uh, that that great on the server um, at least it's bugging a little bit I don't know if it's a server uh, maybe it's patched in 1.4 actually I don't know uh, so let me just make this tree um, there's kind of a formula to making these trees um, that you just kinda get from once you've chopped down enough you kinda see how they look and actually right there should be a log as well Oop, that's all right. I'm gonna have to cut both of these down. All right, yeah, this should be a log, and this should be a log, and this should be a log. Okay, and then it looks like a legit tree. Um, these are the same height. I'm not. Maybe I'll make that one one higher and raise the roof even more. Hmm, I don't know. But let me put this uh, this right here as well. And yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to grow, and I guess while we're doing that, let's get some cows in here, and just, uh, I guess block this off, or maybe we should wait to build this before we start bringing cows in there here, because they could be kind of pesky while we're building it. I don't need that real line. Um, now nah, let's just, we'll deal with them. I'll bring two in here and probably enclose them in, like, just like right right in here right in here uh, before we actually start breeding them and I'll make these walls yeah fence them in so let me go get some cows alright I have these cows coming down into my cave come on down cows um, you know the reason why I like building in caves actually uh, is because you can really uh, you can really make some like cool formations like this goes in here and uh, you don't you also you don't have to worry about uh, what it looks like on the outside like these on the other side I don't have to worry about it can be cobblestone I can fill it in with cobblestone or whatever I, I so desire because um, uh, yeah n no one's gonna see that and it, it, it might seem a little lazy but uh, like this, you can make things like this, the, the one-dimensional, and it looks like it's underground. All right, cool, we have these cows here. Or it looks like it's above ground, but it's underground, so that's, that's you know, 
cool. Um, and let's just let's trap these guys. And so yeah, you don't need to worry about uh, outside detail. You only need to worry about inside detail. And don't move. Don't move, cows. Oh no. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, we're going to lock them in here. And they will start us a whole family filled with incest, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of horrible, but... Yeah, I can bone meal this now. I believe it's grown plenty. Get some foliage around here. Some, uh... Oh, that's not grown yet. This is partially grown. Alright, cool. We got a flower. And, come on. Give me another flower. Sweet, sweet. Um, yeah, I think that looks quite nice. A little more over here, maybe. Up here, these ones haven't grown, so obviously they're not going to. Uh, I'll probably stick a few more flowers around here just to balance it out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we've uh, we've gotten a good amount done today, uh, so I think we'll wrap it up next time. Um, I think we'll uh, probably dig these out, and I'll make a uh, maybe a blue wool farm so we can make the the sky as a background. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe or do whatever you want to this video. Uh, I'll have the next episode coming out soon, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.